Scooten Yardening, everybody. Well, I'm out here by one of our three by six raised beds where we've been growing sweet potatoes the last couple of years. And we've made some modifications this year in order to try to stop one of the biggest challenges we've had, which is our attack of the evil empire. We've had Vol City left and right in our raised beds, but I think we've found something that might be a solution. But the important part of what we're out here to do today in terms of planting these sweet potatoes is to take a look at one of our brand new varieties. This is a Stokes purple sweet potato and I want to talk to you about a couple of the reasons why you should consider growing purple sweet potatoes and at the same time I'm going to show you how we're planting them this year. So let's go ahead and take a look at this purple sweet potato. Now I was walking by the produce section in one of our local stores and I saw an organic purple stoked sweet potato and it's a pretty sizable sweet potato i looked at it i thought you know what we've not grown this variety it looked great so i bought one one of the only sweet potatoes i've purchased in the last couple of years and i bought it so that we could propagate some slips from it and try to grow our own now you can see this is planted in soil we did start it off for a while in water just to get the roots going but we transplanted it over to soil and these slips took off. So today I'm gonna to start trimming some of these off and getting them planted in our bed. But I'm really excited to try out this purple sweet potato because I enjoy eating purple sweet potatoes and there are some definite benefits. We've been growing purple sweet potatoes for the last three years, but again, this is our first time with the Stokes variety. But some of the reasons why we love growing purple sweet potatoes include the looks, of course, because they're a beautiful, different, unique color and from what we've read about the Stokes variety, when you steam it up or when you cook it up, it actually gets deeper purple, which is fantastic. And when we've used our purple sweet potatoes for biscuits, we've used it for ice cream, there's really no telling what we're gonna do with these. So we love the look of them. On top of that, we find that purple sweet potatoes have a pretty unique taste. So even if you don't like other types of sweet potatoes, perish the thought, you might find that you like the taste of this one. But I think most importantly, when it comes to any of our blue and purple fruits and vegetables, we're looking at the addition to our diets of anthocyanins. And I'm not going to claim to be an expert on the value of those anthocyanins, but I can tell you that some folks even say it goes as far as helping to fight off cancer. I don't know about that, but what I do know is that these purple Stokes sweet potatoes contain nearly four times the amount of vitamin C as our orange sweet potatoes. And on top of that, there's also, of course, with sweet potatoes, you get a wonderful source of fiber, a wonderful source of many other vitamins and nutrients. In fact, I would say that if there was one staple crop we had to put in our garden, it would be sweet potatoes. And these purple ones are just a nice little cherry on top. Well, we've got some good reasons for planting purple sweet potatoes. And again, we got this one from the store. So proof that you can propagate sweet potato slips from those store-bought sweet potatoes. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut off and show you how I'm planting it. All right, I just mentioned that we had had horrible trouble with voles. Now I wasn't able to take all the soil out and do a layer underneath with this hardware cloth. But what I was able to do is to cut a functional piece that goes across the entire top. Now last season we did try some black plastic across the top to try to hold them off, but they still chewed through that and got in and did some damage. But they can't really chew through this wire. And now you can see what I've done is I've cut just a little square at each spot where I'm gonna put a slip. So we're looking at about 23 sweet potato slips in this area. Now what I've done to prep this soil for planting, a couple of weeks ago I came through and added an all-purpose fertilizer on top of the Purple Cow organic compost that we put in here, probably about three inches of that compost. I mixed that together and then I came back through just recently and I added one pound of our bone meal and a half a pound of Langbionite and then a little bit of our Epsom salt, about a tablespoon total of Epsom salt and azomite. So we have our trace minerals. We have all that we really need, I think, to get these sweet potatoes off to a great start. Remember, the bone meal's purpose is to bring in that phosphorus, and the langbionite is a great source of potassium. So that's what our root crops need. We're gonna get them started in here. 
Now on top of this, whenever I plant these in the hole, I'm going to be adding a small amount of mycos mycorrhizal, which we add to all of our root crops as we're planting them. We like to get that root development off to a great start. We like to help those roots absorb the nutrients in here, which is the purpose of the mycos. And I'm also gonna add a little bit more of our bone meal as well, right down into that hole. Again, let's get these off to the best start possible. And then I'm gonna fill the hole in on top with some of that organic compost. Now I'm just gonna use this little metal rod to hollow out each hole. I'm gonna dig down you know, five or six inches. And in each hole, we're also gonna get an additional dose of our mycos, our bone meal, and a few grains of that langbionite, just a few. So that's going to help us get off to the great start we need. And now I need to do that for every single one of our slots. Well, I can feel the rain coming for sure. So I need to get this done as quickly as possible. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these off, the ones that are a little bit bigger, and I really want these nice sturdy ones. I'm gonna come down here and clip them. And let's just take this one as an example here. We've got one, two, three nodes. There's a fourth one right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off the leaf here and right here, and I'm gonna bury these three. And I'm gonna repeat that process, removing as many of these as I can. We're gonna still leave this in the soil to keep creating, but I'm gonna plant it just like this. And then what I'm gonna do for each one of these, got some more of our purple cow compost here. And I'm just gonna use that to fill in around the edges so that it's nicely in place. And you know, this top area here, this mesh isn't really held down well yet. So what I'll do is I'll come back through here later on and I'll hold it down either with some mulch or some hay in all likelihood. And just something to keep it in place. But we're gonna repeat this process for the rest of these slips. Hey, just as a side note, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't get much out of a single sweet potato. I've got 11 planted and I've still got all of this <laughs> still growing. Well, the rain's starting to come down pretty good right now, but there we are, 23 sweet potato slips taken from this one singular Stokes purple sweet potato and there's still plenty on here growing you know we'll let this continue to grow we may take some more slips off of it later we may overwinter some of those slips I'm not sure but thank you so much for that one sweet potato now we've got a whole bunch more planted and we hope a fantastic harvest now I do need to come back through here and hold down this hardware clock. You can see it's kind of popping up there on the edge, so I'm going to take care of that as well. But what do you think? Is this going to keep the voles out? I hope so. If you've never tried growing purple sweet potatoes or never tried a purple sweet potato, we can highly recommend it. And here in about 120 days, we'll show you the results. Stay tuned for some upcoming garden tours. And if you have any questions about planting or growing sweet potatoes, let us know in the comments. We'd be happy to help you out. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.